During this virtual macart lesson, I'm going to be showing you a couple of very simple but extremely attractive watercolor techniques to create some beautiful hearts. Now, for this, I am using a small sheet of watercolor paper, which I've cut into four equal pieces, and I pre-sketched a love heart the same size on each piece of paper. Now, what I have here is my watercolor set, a medium-sized paintbrush, paper towel, a water pot, and then to create some of these techniques, I have a little bit of salt, a small section of cling film or shrink wrap, and I have a white oil pastel. You can also use a normal crayon. Now I'm going to start with the hearts that need the most amount of drying time. Now, before you jump into your creations, have a play around with your watercolors and find a few color combinations that you really like. I'm going with my pinky purple shades over here. You can do whatever you want for yours. Now, what I'm going to do is loosen up my paintbrush first in the water. And then I'm going to go for some of my pinky purpley red shade here. And I'm going to do this back heart. Now I want the surface to be super, super wet. So I'm sloshing the color on. I don't want it to be all one flat color, so I'm gonna have it drifting down into a red shade, lower down. When you're doing watercolors like this, you don't have to be super neat. One of the reasons why I love working with watercolors, it's super fast and you could be really, really rough with your watercolors and still get some beautiful, absolutely stunning finishes to them. So there we go, I have a basic heart there. I'm just gonna add a few touches of color. Wonderful. Now with this one, we are going to create a really beautiful broken glass type pattern over the top. I'm gonna lay my brush down. So what I have prepared is a small sheet of shrink wrap here, or cling film. Now what I'm going to do, not drag it, I'm going to lay it down on top of my heart. Now this will bleed outside of the heart as well and that's totally okay. That's gonna add to our design. Very gently press it down. You can see the creases and crinkles in there. I'm actually gonna mess with it and add a couple more. There we go. Now when you're happy with it, leave it alone. I know it's super tempting to carry on pushing it around, but we don't want to do that. We want to let it dry now. We're gonna just leave it and let it dry. Now whilst that one is drying, I'm going to work on my second heart, which needs a pretty decent amount of dry time as well. So what I'm going to do is same thing again, a really fun design using my colors. I like these colors for my heart, so I'm gonna do pretty much the same again. Sloshing the color on. You could do something different, or if you're just looking for a cool design, have a play around and see what design you like the most. There we go. Now, for this heart, I'm going to be using salt. Now, the salt I'm gonna sprinkle over the top. Once I have covered, my love heart, there we go. Now my heart's completely covered. I'm gonna pick up a little tiny bit of salt that I have prepared here and just gently sprinkle a little bit over the top, not too much, just a little bit. And you can see what's happening already, that salt is starting to pull the pigment from around it. And when it dries, it's gonna create some beautiful little crystal patterns on top of the heart there. This is one of my favorite techniques to sneak into my watercolor paintings. Really, really fun texture. Now, different types of salt, you can get some large salt, like pink Himalayan salt comes in large crystals. That creates a different pattern. I'm using more of a fine grain sea salt here. Have a play around with some different types of salt and see what you can come up with. Now, these two hearts don't require a huge amount of drying time. So what I'm going to do first is this heart here. 
I'm going to do a wax resist. So I have my oil pastel here, white oil pastel. You could use a different color, maybe yellow or something that will stand out from your heart colors. I'm going to go all the way around the outline of my heart with the white. Obviously, I can't see the white, so I have to make sure I'm being really thorough and I've covered all of the outside edge. Now this is wax. As I add the watercolor, it's going to resist that waxy surface and the white heart is gonna pop forward. Let's give it a go. So again, lots of water into my pretty colors that I've chosen. And I'm gonna do just a quick wash over the top. And there it is. A beautiful bright heart that stands out. And you can have a lot of fun really creating a beautiful design on this one. This is just a real quick demonstration. Excited to see what designs you guys come up with. You can do a combination of all of them to make a beautiful masterpiece. There we go. Now I want to add just a little bit more of a darker tone. So I'm layering up my color here just on the inside of the heart here. There we go, so the heart's standing out a little bit brighter. That was super quick and easy and very, very attractive. Using this method, you could absolutely do some secret messages, write something on the heart, do some pretty designs around the outside. This is a really fun one to do and very, very fast. Now, my last one, I'm going to use just watercolor and for this last one, we need to use lots of control. Now, watercolor will not travel any further than where you add the water. So what I'm going to do is work around the outside of my heart. I'm gonna do half of it first, just at the top here. The tip of my paintbrush is facing the heart so I can see exactly where it's going. And I'm gonna push that out a little bit. So the top of the paper around the heart is wet, but the heart is dry. This is a really fun one. So picking up just a little bit of color, making sure it's nice and loose. As I add my color, it's gonna start to burst out, but it will not go any further than where I have added the water. So I can be super scruffy when I'm sloshing on this color, but you see as it blends towards the heart, it stops where the water edge is. So I end up with a lovely, clean, crisp heart. I'm gonna continue that all the way around. There we go, and I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that fun red tone that I've added here to the inside of this heart. I think that looks beautiful. Wonderful, there we go. Now I have to be patient. With watercolors, half of your time is spent waiting for them to dry. Now the watercolor is gonna carry on moving. These colors down here are gonna carry on pushing out and blending together. The crystal pattern up here, the salt will carry on pulling in the pigment and creating those beautiful patterns. Same with this lovely one here. So we have to be patient and allow our watercolors to dry before we do anything else. So I will see you guys in five minutes. We are back and our hearts have had a little bit of time to dry. What I'm gonna do now is peel off my shrink wrap from my love heart here. Now, when you peel this off, make sure you peel it back on itself away. 
Now this one is actually still a teeny bit wet, but it's okay. I'm not going to touch it. There we go. Oh, that is beautiful. You see how it's giving me that lovely, crinkly, almost broken glass look. I love that. Gorgeous. Now, the other material that needs to be removed is this one here. We used a little bit of salt, and you can see how I have the dried salt on the surface. That's easy. You can just move it away from your work and gently sweep the salt off of the surface. And that is all you need to do. The others dried, and there's nothing that needs to be removed. And there we have it, guys. Let's switch these two out to make a nice pattern. And there we have our beautiful heart designs, each one using a slightly different technique, using just the same colors, and it gives a very beautiful looking heart shape. Now, you can combine these techniques, you can do different designs, and come up with your own wonderful creations. Remember guys, whatever you choose to do, the most important thing is that you have fun.